Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at my September 2019 forecast, which includes temperature anomalies, uh, precipitation anomalies, and then my overall forecast. In all, this took me about one and a half to two hours to make, and it was pretty fun to make. So I, I like making these type of long-range forecasts, because uh, I like testing myself and seeing how accurate I can be uh, one to even three months out from now. So let's let's um, get right into it. Here's my temperature anomaly map. You see in this lighter blue, we have anywhere in this blue, we're in a below average. But in this lighter blue, you're going to be slightly below average. Then in this um, darker blue, this medium shade of blue right over here, that's going to be your just uh, moderately below average. So you're going to feel this below average because you're going to um, mainly because you're going to be having a, a Arctic blast coming in from Canada. And it's just going to be frequently dipping in and out of that area. Um, and that's probably why you're going to be seeing the um, moderately be moderately below average. Here um, for the southern U.S., for this, uh, for coastal North Carolina, South Carolina, parts of Georgia, all of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and then into the west and the Rockies, we're going to be seeing slightly above average temperatures. Anywhere in this uh, yellow shade, you're going to be seeing slightly above average temperatures. Not too noticeably above average, and you'll still have some cooler days, but for the most part, you should be uh, uh, one or two degrees above average. Here is the uh, precipitation anomalies. So here we have slightly above average in this uh, in this lighter green over here, and that that's going to be fair. You might notice that uh, maybe we have a couple more days with showers, um, with some rain showers this month but it won't be anything too too noticeable in this darker green this dark uh second um shade of green we're going to be seeing noticeably above average so you're going to notice that there's a, a pretty much uh there's a pretty good amount of rainfall this this uh, month and then for parts of this dark darkest green shade which is well above average um and you're going to be seeing anywhere um you're probably going to be feel like feeling this like you're going to be like wow this is an extremely rainy month uh i was looking at the models and they had an average of five inches of rain above average uh for this for um this area for the entire month of september so that's going to be pretty pretty good um pretty well above average in the northwest, we have slightly to uh, moderately below average. And we're in this lighter shade of brown or slash orange or tan. Uh, you're going to be seeing slightly below average. In this darker shade of um, brown, tan, whatever you want to call it, you're going to be seeing moderately below average. So you'll be noticing that you weren't seeing as many rain showers. Also, if you're wondering why this area kind of juts out, it's, pro it's um mainly because... There will be some uh, Rocky Mountain lows that are going to be moving in just like that. They're going to be forming over parts of Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and then moving their way in. And you're going to see above average rainfall for those areas when they do move in. And uh, possibly some snow for the Rockies when uh, those lows form. Here's my overall forecast. Probably my most favorite forecast to make because I get to just basically sum up the entire month in one season. Here we have, we'll start from west to east. So we have a very warm and dry pattern for the northwest. You you probably noticed that we were um, moderately, um, I mean slightly above average and we were also uh, um, moderately uh, below average in precipitation. So that's the reason why we're putting very warm and dry conditions for the Pacific Northwest. It's not going to be um, warm necessarily. It'll probably be in the 70s and 60s, uh, but it'll be noticeably drier and warmer for that month. For um, the west into the southern plains, you're going to be seeing warmer conditions. So it's just going to be warmer. You'll probably feel that it wasn't as cold this month. In this purple shade, we have a higher hurricane threat. I'm gonna, I'm um gonna say it right now. I think there's gonna be an above average hurricane season for this area. Now I'm not gonna say that there's gonna be a category five or anything. I'm just gonna say you're probably gonna have more tropical storms than average. 
just that's just based off of Noah's forecast. They're calling for a slightly above average season, and what I've seen when we look at um other hurricane seasons um that look sort of similar to this one, you usually see a a rapid um boost in hurricane um in hurricanes during the month of September and even late August. Here in the heart uh in this heart of severe weather, this red area. This this is where you're gonna see uh, most of your severe weather severe weather for this month, mainly because when you get those Arctic blasts and, and that cold air, and they meet with this warmer air from the south, that's where you get your severe weather. So anywhere in here is really gonna be where the warm air meets with the warm out with the warm air from the south is gonna meet right over here mainly um, to make that severe weather. We have in this large area of of um yellow we have this flip flop basically means you're pro um sometimes going to be in that arctic blast a um re region sometimes you're going to be in that warm air region so you're really just going to be back and forth and that's why when we were looking at temperatures you weren't really below average or above average because you're you're just flipping back and forth so there's no way to tell if you're going to be um above or below average in that in this blue over here we have one or two arctic blasts and then to the north of that in that purple you're going to be seeing a couple arctic blasts probably two to four arctic blasts maybe a couple less and then finally for the northeast i'm i'm just going to say right now there's probably going to be an average uh september it's probably not going to be noteworthy probably no crazy september snowfall or anything probably not going to be cold or warm it's just gonna feel like a pretty average uh september for the northeast so nothing really unless we get maybe like some hurricane that forms up and goes up the coast that's the only thing that i could think of but there's nothing really that i could put there so i just put average because that's what it's gonna be for th this month anyways guys if you did enjoy that video please um consider subscribing and liking the video um it really supports the channel and i really want to thank you guys for the support that i've been seeing lately on my videos i'll try to make more of these long range forecasts since i know a lot of you guys like these type of videos i'll probably have a couple in september and uh probably some more in november primarily the winter forecast as we get uh, closer and closer to winter so yeah Stay tuned for those, and if you don't want to miss that, then consider subscribing, or else you might actually miss those videos. Anyways, guys, that was Eli the Weather Guy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.